Yo, 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 what up? This call down in my dark and here to address the, uh, the uh, Gary Russell with Terrence Crawford altercation. Um, it was the Pan Am camp, 2007. We just made the Pan Am team. And it was the first camp we had before we were going to uh, Brazil. And what happened was me and Bud were sharing a room. And the first day of sparring is always the hardest. So I was just wanted to cruise through it. So I wasn't really doing too much. So long story short, it was, we spar. It was competitive or whatever. All, all, my sparring are always competitive, you know, especially with elite athletes. All our sparring are going to be competitive. So long story short, you know, I heard that Bud had called his coaches or whatever and told them that I was easy work or whatever. I heard it through the grapevine, you know. So long story short, I asked G. I'm like, G, did you hear that? He was like, yeah, I heard the same thing. So I'm like, all right, I'll say, I'm going to turn it up on him. Next time we spar, I'm going to turn it up. So the next time we spar was like the, two days later. So we and me, me and Bud share in a room. So we in a room about to go to sparring. So we talking shit to each other, you know, competitiveness with each other. We talking shit. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to turn it up on you today. I'm going to turn it up on you today. We get in the ring, we boxing. But it got so heated. Like, in between rounds, we weren't even going to our corners for sparring. We weren't even going to our corners listening to the coaches. So once the coaches got a whiff on it, you know, they was like, yo, these dudes is really fighting. So we were in the ring going back and forth, back and forth. I'm swimming without getting wet. You know what I mean? Talking shit, talking shit. And Coach Dan seen how serious we were with each other. And he just basically was like, yo, stop, stop, stop. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. They stopped the sparring session. You know, we wasn't doing computer uh, scoring. That's the parents, that sparring session. You feel me? But they stopped it because we were too, like, serious with each other. So when they stopped it, you know, uh, Bud got out the ring. I'm still in the ring. And he walking over there to where, the, uh, where everybody at, where the, uh, the rest of the team at. So I'm on the tip, like, man, fuck out of here, nigga. Ain't want nobody running. He was, like, kept saying I was running. I'm like, ain't nobody running, nigga. I'm swimming without getting wet. That's what it's called. Hit and I get hit. You know what I mean? I said, nigga, your defense is basically going to keep you around. So he over there talking to G. So I turn back around. I get out the ring on the other side of the gym. I'm getting my glove ticking off. And I hear them going back and forth, going back and forth. And I hear uh, uh, Bud say, yeah, Mark, uh, Mark Davis was, Mark Davis was, you know what I mean, be getting, on, be getting in your ass, be getting in your ass. You know, and then Nuke, where I see Warren was there, he was like, oh, hey, Bud, come on. Don't put Mark in it. That's between y'all. Don't put Mark in it. That's between y'all. Whatever. And then, like, a couple seconds later, all I hear is, oh. I turn around, and, like, they breaking. They holding motherfucking. They trying to grab Terrence or whatever because he's trying to get loose or whatever because apparently he just got sucker punched. So I didn't actually see it. You feel me? But I heard everybody say, oh, and I turned around. You know, it was it was basically a big altercation, break, everybody breaking things up and shit. I didn't actually see the sucker punch, you know. But before the camp, when we was at the, tro the uh, qualifiers, they had Terrence they had got into an altercation with one of the guys from Puerto Rico, and they was fighting in the um, in a the, um, they were fighting in the stands, and they told Bud, "Yo, if you get in trouble again, they're gonna kick him. They might they're gonna send him home." So that incident happened, and they wound up uh, the coaches had a meeting, and they wound up sending him home, you know. But that's the part of the story that I remember. You know, I wasn't, um, it wasn't the Olympic camp because Deontay Wilder was never, I don't even, I haven't, I don't remember seeing Deontay Wilder when we were amateur. You know, um, I don't remember seeing Deontay Wilder. He, I definitely didn't, was never in camp with him. But um, the sucker punch, actually, the sucker punch did happen. I don't know how it happened, you know, or whatever, because I didn't see it, but I was definitely there, you know, and basically, that's what happened from my point of view. You know, so if anybody was there that say I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm re I'm here to argue. I'm ready to argue. You know, and, and, and yeah, I was, the, I, was the, I was the man. I was the man at that time, but, you know, caught up in the streets, caught up in a whole bunch of bullshit. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? It, I, I, I came a statistic, you know? But at the end of the day, Bud's story is kind of actually accurate because it was the Pan Am camp. Deontay Rado wasn't there, or whatever. But you know, it, the sucker punch did happen. It did happen. I don't know how it happened, or whatever. But it, it, it actually happened. So there it is. There, um, uh, 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 Sean Porter was there. Demetrius Andre, Adam Willett was there. 
uh, 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 might have uh, a couple other people was there, but I don't remember. But that's my po that's my point of view. Somebody want me to tell a story what went on with uh, Terrence Crawford and Gary Russell? So I'm gonna put it to you like this, right? Keep in mind, y'all, uh, we we 18, 19 years old. We at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs. You know what I'm saying? So we all keep in mind, we all elite fighters, number one amateurs in the you know in the U in United States. So um, we we sparring and shit. You know, me and Gary sparring. I fought at this time. I was fighting 125 pounds. Gary Russell was fighting 119 pounds. Rashi Warren, he was fighting 112 pounds. So how they do it is that Rashi Warren had to spar with me and Gary Russell. He comes spar with the uh, 106 pound or the 112 pound. He had to spar with us because that motherfucker was good like that. So of course I had to spar with Gary. I spar with Gary Russell first. Then they'll take Gary Russell out and put Rashi in with me. You know what I'm saying? Because I was the biggest. So, me and Gary got it on. You know what I'm saying? It was good sparring. You know, at, at that day, yes, I might have got on a, I got on, on Gary. You know what I'm saying? But he, he good work all the time, though. But I'm we was good fighters, man. I'm sharp. That motherfucking name is too sharp. I was sharp than a motherfucker. That's... Gary, my boy, my boy, and Terrence Crawford, my boy. So, Terrence get in the ring sparring with Dynamite. Terrence fight 132. Dom Dynamite fight 141. Man, Dynamite, one of the sharpest amateurs I'd have ever seen, though. So, Dynamite, you know, he he's sharp that day. He getting out on, 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 on Terrence, you know what I'm saying? So, they still had good work though. He he got out on Terrence, but they still had great work. So they get out the ring, and then you know Terrence a little, you know he a little he a little frustrated after the spar. You know what I'm saying? So they they got a little. Him and Dynamite was talking noise all through the spar. So when Terrence got out, he was a little he was mad already. He was talking shit still, and then Gary said something to Terrence. And then Terrence was like, nigga, what you talking about? Nigga, Mark just beat your ass. So then they get to arguing and shit. They face to face. They get to arguing. Gary took off on, on Terrence and hit him with a right. He hit him with a right hook. Terrence ate the bitch. You feel me? Terrence ain't, he ain't dropped Terrence or nothing. And then they couldn't fight because right after Gary took off on him, the coaches and everybody grabbed Terrence and grabbed Gary. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, man, Gary Russell, you better not get your motherfucking ass in the ring with Terrence. He gonna damn half kill your motherfucking ass, boy. You motherfucking, Gary, you ass, your motherfucking ass, you gotta go fight Javante Davis. You gotta go get that money. And Terrence, you gotta go fight Earl Spence. Y'all three weight classes from each other talking about fighting each other, man. Y'all niggas rich than a motherfucker. And for real, if if that if that little argument wouldn't have happened in, in, in Colorado Springs that day after y'all sparred, then y'all still be cool. So y'all need to let that shit go, man. Y'all need to let that shit go, bro. For real. On man, God. Terrence walk up to me. He like, uh, man, what you think about the spawn, man? He was running, right? I'm like, well, we 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 boxers, you know what I'm saying? He we supposed to hit and not get hit. He was moving, but he was moving with a purpose. Mm. So he 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 ain't like what I said and got the frown on his face and yelling and all that. I'm not gonna go back and forth with another grown ass man. So he got his shit split. Mm. It was only one punch thrown. It was only my punch thrown. He got shipped the fuck off to Sports Med to go get his shit checked out. <laughs> you know, point blank word. Damn. You know what I'm saying this like that's not it's not a rumor. There's some factual shit. Mm. There's some factual shit. All that shit that tank talking, he wish he can catch me in the closed room and all that. Stop playing, Shorty. Don't make this mm. shit personal. Mm. Don't make it personal. It's business, but don't make it personal. You done seen me knock niggas out from your gym. 
you don't see, you don't heard about me fuck people up from mm. your gym and all that. Like, come on, man, I've been mm. a menace out here. Stop it, y'all. Mm. Stop it, y'all. <laughs> Stop it. But nah, it's it's not a rumor. There's some factual shit. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Well, if he if he, put it like this, if 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 Terrence feels some type of way about it, if he don't gotta fight, I'll fight him. He can get that shit back. What's up? You'll fight Terrence. Up, Terrence? You'll fuck fight. Yeah, I'll fight. Fuck yeah, I'll, I'm a I'm a cold man. Once again, I'm a right now and I'm probably like this is Don Marlene. You watch Aki TV. This is Richie Comet. Keep watching Aki TV. Subscribe. Hmm. <laughs> Twenty free bacon, egg, and cheese after my fight. We here with Aki TV. You know we out here. <laughs> That's what you get if you yes, don't subscribe, sir. huh? <laughs> subscribe, like, you already know. Comment.